trailer sales, saving the world one great deal at a time. There's 1,386 signatures, and all electronic with comments. And they're numbered, the comments are numbered for each person that they filled out the form, with their petition number. Mm -hmm. And some of the uh, residents aren't just in Medicine Hat, but also in Cypress County and Red Cliff, so. Correct. And that, and that, that uh, reflects the region. Yes. And that's exactly where they're going to fall. So, yeah, even though they were from yeah. the other area, that's where the college was back. Yes, it's still, it's yeah. still 911 is we'll go to medicine, it comes to medicine now. Correct, right? so absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sure, we'll do that. Yeah, thanks, man. All right, so you uh, handed a petition here at Mr. Missile's office today? Yes, I uh, presented the petition that came through our council on Monday night uh, with 1,386 signatures from people in Medicine Hat and the uh, Cypress County and Radcliffe that uh, were, uh, the, it started when the when it was announced that our di EMS dispatch would be centralized in Calgary in 2011 and uh, grassroots movement started and they asked me if I would uh, if I would champion it their cause once they got the petition going and I said yes and today we are we presented it today to uh, MLA Len, Len Mitzel to speak, speak on our behalf. Well, what are some of the concerns surrounding centralization of that service? Well, one of the main concerns is we were the first uh, e 911 dispatch to receive uh, tri accreditation in the world. So we were the we were the leaders in 911 dispatch, and for us to lose uh, one third of that to uh, centralization in Calgary, we felt was unjust. Uh, Calgary doesn't have the uh, certification that we have, so we, we felt that uh, losing it was uh, was was not uh, should, should not have been the case. What do you think of the number of uh, number of signatures you got on the petition? Uh, obviously, when you can get thirteen, almost fourteen hundred signatures in a in an area, in an area of sixty thousand, uh, that's that's great. Uh, they were all electronic, which was a first for the uh, city of Medicine had to to have a petition come through council that was electronic. Uh, had we gone door, uh, had it gone door to door, or you know, were able to sign in certain locations, it might have been might have been larger. But uh, it just shows the growing movement of the electronic uh, age. Do you think the petition will make a difference? I hope so. You know, anytime you get grassroots uh, grassroots support for things like this, and our MLA uh, for Cypress Medicine Hat is going to speak to it. Uh, I believe, hopefully, it uh, it will uh, open some doors and maybe some negotiations will, will restart. Would centralization have any negative impacts on the service of ambulances? Well, the the fact that once the call comes in here at 911 in Medicine Hat, then they'll they'll be asked what their emergency is, and then it'll be transferred off to. Uh, to Calgary, if it's an if it's an ambulance issue or EMS issue, uh, anytime you have a, a call being transferred, you're going to lose uh, time, which is very critical in, in many cases where an EMS should be dispatched right away. Uh, we feel that a local dispatcher would know the area better than someone out of Calgary too. And I guess City Council was trying to get uh, one of those three centers here in Medicine Hat, correct, in the region? We, we, we thought we'd be able to do it. Uh, we didn't bid on the RFP that went out on Alberta Health Services originally because we were under the understanding that uh, we'd be dealt with separately because we already have a contract for the region, so it was, which is due in 2011, and we thought by that time we'd be able to negotiate to keep it here. Uh, what, where is that at right now? Because I guess there was some confusion. You guys were able to participate, but you didn't because you didn't know that you could. Yeah, we're we're still waiting to hear from uh, Dr. Duckett, who is the head of Alberta Health Services. He did send an email last week to council, uh, saying that he is looking at our concerns and will meet with us. We have uh, meetings with uh, both MLA Mitzel and Minister Renner next week uh, to voice some of these concerns with them, and hopefully we can make a difference uh, and keep our EMS dispatch here. So what do you think of the petition that was dropped off at your office today? Well, I think it reflects the, uh, the concerns that are there with the decision that Alberta Health Services made to uh, have the dispatch centralized into two centers in Alberta. It reflects the concern and the, and the fears that are, that are here that the type of service isn't going to be as good or what, was, what, what we had before or what we really feel is required. Is there any concerns that you share with these people? Well, you look at the, the, there's a lot of things. Sometimes it's the timing of the calls, emotion is involved in call answer and dispatch. It is dispatch, but with, with dispatch there has to be call answer as well. And I don't know all the details on the call answer, how much, how much is taken in before they make the dispatch point, or whether the thing is 
the, whether the, the switch is flipped and it goes directly to the center. If that's the case, then uh, the concern that I have is similar to some of the other ones is that how uh, it's the lack of, of uh, familiarity with the area, with the roads, with, with all the conditions that are here that are a concern. I know that they will be dispatching, uh, say if it's an ambulance, they'll be dispatching ambulance providers from around the region um, that are familiar because they live here. But uh, uh, there is a concern that the Alberta Health Services has taken the lead on this and, and decide, determined that it should be uh, two dispatch centers in the province and that's what they're working with. And uh, um, this petition is to encourage them to reconsider. So where does the petition go from here? From here, it goes to the legislature. I will be uh, giving it to Ledge Council. We take a look at that. There's a certain format on pre presenting petitions that must be followed. I'll be presenting to them, and, uh, and then it'll be either presented as petitions or it'll be tab tabled as a list of, a list of names. Okay, what uh, message are you going to be giving your colleagues? My colleagues? That, uh, that uh, this is a uh, tripartite, if you want to call it that, or uh, no, I'll start all over on that one. Sure. Uh, this, the call, answer, and dispatch service here was accredited as perhaps the best in North America and one of the few in the world that covered all three disciplines. And as such, it would be uh, most beneficial to recognize that. And uh, as one of the other comments that I read, perhaps there should be uh, a North Center South call answer dispatch. Instead of two, perhaps there should be three. And this would be a perfect spot for this with the accreditation they have and the expertise they have. Uh, what do you think Medicine's Hat's uh, chances are of getting I one of those sendings? Don't know. Oh, no? No, I, sorry, I really don't. But I'll be working to encourage them to consider it. Okay. Well, thanks very much.